So this is gonna be a very short video and after watching this tutorial, you're gonna be able to quickly increase your techniques in After Effects. So if you're looking to get better really quick, this is the video for you because what I'm trying to say is we're not gonna be watching any cat videos here. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I'm always looking for quick and small ways to improve my work and this tutorial is gonna be just that. We're gonna be taking a look at a few motion graphic concepts that you can quickly implement into your work really quick. And if you're actively working on projects and you want to get them done quicker, Go ahead and check out our motion graphics starter pack. I'll talk about that later in the video. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's start creating some awesome motion graphic techniques. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects. So we're gonna create these really cool motion graphics to spruce up what we're doing. So to get started, we're gonna start off with something super simple that requires no animation or keyframes, which are these X's that pop up on the screen. Very easy to do it, but it makes a huge difference. So what you do is you grab the pen tool here at the top, you click on the word fill and you make sure it's set to none, click okay. Click on the word stroke, set that to solid color, and click OK. And from here, all you have to do is click a point, hold down shift on your keyboard, and click on a point above that one. All right, awesome. Then all you have to do is control double click the pan behind tool, and that will put the anchor point right there in the center. Then from here, all you're going to do is go to edit, duplicate, and then you hit R on your keyboard for rotation, and we can rotate this to 90 degrees. And then you can select both these layers and you can increase the stroke width or decrease it up to you. So what I do here is grab our two layers, go to layer pre-compose, call it cross one. All right, and then I'll come here to our project window and we will duplicate our cross one. We'll go into this composition and we'll just make this one a little bit skinnier. Awesome, we'll go back into our main composition and we'll import that comp into our project and we'll just move it around. And simply all we're gonna do is duplicate these and just move them around randomly around our composition very easily. And then we grab our thicker one and move that around our comp. So now we have these static you know, X symbols or crosses, whatever you want to call them. And what we do here is we can grab all of our layers, grab the out point and just bring them in. So like maybe 12 frames or something. We can come here for each layer and just offset these randomly in time, separate them by like a few frames. So now we have these crosses just pop up in here like that. And that is pretty dope. And then we can take this even further. We can grab all of our layers and pre-compose it. Call it cross all. And then we'll go ahead and just trim this layer down and we'll duplicate it. And we can offset this in time. So it'll come right back on and nobody will know that we've duplicated it. So a really cool quick technique that you can implement without any animation that will bring more detail to your compositions. All right, the next technique we're gonna create is this circle animation. Now it's not necessarily a circle. This is like a very specific path that starts from the center out. And let me just show you more specifically what this looks like. You can see that we have the path right here and you could use the pen tool to create this in After Effects, but that's kind of honestly not gonna be accurate. It's gonna be really difficult to make that accurate. So what we're gonna do is jump over to Adobe Illustrator. So if you have the Creative Cloud, congratulations, you can just open up Illustrator. But it's really easy to do this. You don't need to know anything about Illustrator to do this. Just go up to File, New, and start open up a new document and then just grab the pen tool. All you have to do is just do a straight line, just hold down shift, do two points just like we did in After Effects. That's all you have to do. All right, then you have to grab something called the Twirl tool. I already have it here, but you're not gonna have the Twirl tool here on the left side. So you click on this edit toolbar icon here and there'll be, you scroll down, you'll find something called the Twirl tool. It'll be highlighted. You just click and you drag it to your tools here. So like, I don't have plucker tool here. I can just drag that right there. You see, you want the Twirl tool. That's very important. All right, and then from here, we can double click this twirl tool icon and we can increase the width and height to 200 pixels. And that's cool for me, click okay. So what we do is come here to the anchor point here and we just simply create a circle like that. That's all we do. Then come here and grab the direct selection tool and we'll click the anchor point down here. I'll zoom in real quick. Click the first anchor point down here. We'll delete that. We'll delete this because this is extra. We'll de delete it and come here to the center. And we'll also delete that. So now everything is completely, you know, circular. And then all you have to do is grab this, copy it. That's it. Go over the After Effects. We'll just grab our pen tool here and just do a straight line so we can create a shape layer, okay? We'll go open up shape layer, go in the contents, go to shape one, open up path one where it says path, select it, and then paste that in there. Now you have that path right there. So now all we have to do is animate this and make it look good. So we can increase the stroke width as you see fit. We can also scale up the entire layer so it's a little bit bigger, you know, that sort of deal. It kind of looks like an at symbol. 
but we need to animate this. So let's go ahead, go into the contents, go back to shape one, and we'll come here to add, and we'll add a trim paths. Okay, come here to begin our timeline. We'll open up trim paths, and we'll bring the end down to zero percent. We can add a keyframe for start and end percent, and simply move that end keyframe forward by a little bit. And we'll move forward in time. We'll set the start percent to 100, and then we'll move forward a little bit more and set the end to 100 percent. So now you get something like this. And one other thing that we can do is open up the stroke one and set the butt cap to a round cap. This way it'll be rounded at the edges, and that's nice. Awesome. So then let's just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. We'll select all of our keyframes here and make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then we'll click on graph editor and we'll just, you know, do a box like this to select all the keyframes. We'll grab these vertices, drag them out and grab the bottom vertices down here and drag them out. Make sure you have them both selected. So boom. So now the animation will just be a little bit more precise and that is really cool. And of course you can always go back into illustrator you know, make any changes. Like if I don't want this extra anchor point here, I can delete that and then recopy it, go back to after effects. And then we'll go back into the path, you know, right there, paste it in there and it automatically updates. So you don't have to retouch the keyframes or anything like that. So it's a really cool technique that you can just go to illustrator, create your own path and you can create your own custom object. And when it's all said and done, you know, you can move it around your composition. You can use it to like reveal a title. You just add some extra detail. There's a lot you can do with this technique. So it's really nice to be able to implement Illustrator into After Effects. So I understand that creating motion graphics can be difficult and also time consuming. That's why we have built the Motion Graphics Starter Pack, which is an extension for After Effects. So as you might know, we have something here in After Effects called the Motion Graphics Starter Pack, which we created, which has over 500 pre-made motion graphic templates, ranging from you know these type of titles right here that you can preview and import into After Effects, all the way down to motion graphics that we just created. And they're already put together nicely. Let me show you how this works. Maybe we're looking for a very simple title. We can click on apply and it automatically applies this title composition to our project, you know, and we can come here, change out our title very easily, make it say whatever we need to say, easily change colors. We have a control layer, which controls a lot of cool elements to help you master your title. Then from here, we can add say a cluster, which are these pre-made motion graphics. We have over 150 uh, motion graphic files in here, and we can just click on apply when we find a cluster that we like. And within a click of a button, we've been able to enhance our title composition with these clusters, which can be used obviously for other things than just titles. Other than our logo animations and shape transitions, we have something here called backgrounds that we can quickly bring into here. And by being able to have an animated background in here, you have the opportunity with our motion graphic starter pack to put together very quickly a full composition raising, ranging from accent graphics, titles, and animated backgrounds. Like I said, we have over 500 elements in this pack. So if saving time and producing meaningful work is something that's valuable to you, uh, go ahead and check out our links in the description. It'll take you right over to our 500 motion graphics starter pack on our website. All right, so this next technique is very similar to our last one, but we're gonna be creating our own custom shapes right here in After Effects. So for example, we can grab the polygon tool and just draw out a, you know, whatever this is, a pentagon. And we can open Polystar 1, go to the Polystar Path 1, and we can change the number of points to three. We can customize this further. So, I mean, obviously you can do as many points as you want, but at the triangle, we can right click this, convert to Bezier path. We can grab the pen tool here and we can just move this over like this and create like a right angle. Then we can apply that same trim path technique and we have a really cool, you know, custom animation here that we can quickly duplicate. So for example, I can take this and move it around our composition. And it's a pretty dope, subtle technique, but with all of our techniques combined together, you know, all this blends pretty well and it looks really nice being able to just put all this together and just adds nice level of detail to whatever you're working with the title and you can implement these in any way that you want. Uh, perhaps you're doing like an explainer video. This is a great technique. So that concludes our tutorial on creating these really quick techniques inside of After Effects, something that can help improve your work really quick. As you can see, it's really easy to do this stuff. So if you want some more help on creating these type of motion graphics, I will drop a few other tutorials in the description that show a handful of other techniques that you can implement. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.